What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to kind of round off from the last time, um, we saw off a enemy hostile siege of Paris. Uh, we also defended a Hanoverian siege of Amsterdam and we knocked back the rebelling Dutch army quite comprehensively. So now this force under Camille de, de Hosten is heading east to put pressure on the Hanoverians. And then this is going to, these guys, the two cavalry units and these three infantry units are going to link up with these units of sepoys. They are going to put pressure on Turin. Um, don't know if they'll be able to capture it themselves, but, you know, put pressure on it. And then, oh, what's going on around the rest of the world? This is quite spooky. I don't. I think I can stop it either, which is rather frustrating. So if I scoot them down here, so let's see if I can tentatively. Peace tech. Here you go. Have. Oh, I have social contract. Because they're probably going to attack down here and catch one of these positions. With quite a comprehensive army. But now they're... They are the dominant power in India. Request peace. Request alliance. Do that. Request peace. Request alliance. Threaten. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but generally the Mughals, when they do attack, uh, they capture an island, they generally sit there and don't really do anything with it. They don't like... They don't island hop the way I intend to. Um, it's Pony Okay. But I'm completely open to expecting them to attack one of those positions and then, importantly... Well, they might run along and take the other. If they do, that's okay. It's only temporary. Um, I'll probably still keep hopping around between the pirates. Because um, no one... When they when they attack an island island, they really do hunker down and not really move. Ah, see, the Savoy are bringing... Oh, they are bringing a second army to bear. Hanover are stacking up. Oh, good. Their agent died. Trying to be sneaky. So they've got an army going north to the Netherlands. Come on, Wernberg, are you going to do something? I'm fairly sure they're at war with Hanover. And they've got an army right next to me. Oh, go on, attack the Mughals. Attack the Mughals. You know you want to. I don't know where the Mughals have gone though. Hopefully they've gone to capture. Maybe they've gone to capture the pirates region? Building. Okay, so let's do. No, not upgrading. You are not a priority just yet. These guys, however, are. You have more infantry. Same problem with cavalry. What I might do is run three units of infantry into Amsterdam. Have them catch up with them. Recruit, then move up. Then order up Ooh, Royal Line Infantry. But they're ex not... Their upkeep is only just more than regular line and they are slightly better. Can I get one of them though? These guys have no artillery either. But if I can smash them in Amsterdam, push this force back so it's quite knackered, and then smash them with this army, things will be going a lot smoother. See, they're, replen they're replenishing. Run them down. Can't recruit a general, which is frustrating. Let's 
see, so what can't I take? My fifths can't do it. But both my sixths can run around and attack this Savoy fifth. I'm not going to fight it, I'm just going to auto-resolve it, see if I can do a bit of an experiment. It's a fifth versus two sixths. I've, eh, one, I haven't destroyed it, pushed them back. But importantly, I freed up my port for trade for this turn. A thousand, that's more like it. Another force of lots of cav. Ah, there's my rake. So let's do you and assassinate... Agostino Colombo. See, I'd really like square formation to defend against cavalry. Does my Utrecht do this? No, make pick a random one to change all on off. Make Utrecht research that. All the Orleans work square formation. So I'm getting square formation, and they're their cavalry's. Defunct. Okay, this is getting a bit. This is a bit touch and go at the minute. I hope they don't get. They don't get absolutely ransacked by pirates. The scary thing is, Britain's right there with the stack, so they can start to threaten my territory in the Americas. But once I secure Europe. I feel a lot more confident in expanding in uh, the Americas. Because right now, this is expensive. Paris is worth a lot of money, so I can't have them. I can't have it keep being attacked. Oh, go on, Louisiana. Push that stack somewhere. Go take Upper Louisiana back. Right, they're taking... Oh, good. I thought they were moving an army. So where's that Moogle fleet gone? They're happy not doing anything with it. It seems cool. Right, so let's fight this. It should be fairly simple again, because they've only... It's pretty much all this infantry they had before, backed up with a fresh unit. Ablished garrison, like with some great... Breach my own walls to draw the cavalry in. Because it can be very easy to kill... Um, I don't think I want to though. It's a bit. I don't want. To, I don't want to do that until the odds are stacked in my favour. I'm more than happy just to keep pushing them back, because eventually I'll have an army in Amsterdam that I can send out to be on the offensive. That's the the balance I think I'm striking. Shoot them if I want to shoot them. I can turn square if the cavalry wants to charge. Ooh, and I have a mortar. Delicious. All right, put you out. Mortar, just go here. God, you are knackered. You're going to sit back here and do nothing with... No, eh, not with anyone. I'm not going to abandon anyone else, actually. I don't know I don't normally cover all the walls so I generally just um, keep an eye on them and shunt them around as and when needed but I've got so many and they have so few that it's not a problem I may as well just do it since some of these more broken ones anyway yep they're all over here except for one that's over there Ooh, he did take take the head off of a uh, cavalryman. Oh, they did get some more actual units of line infantry. But either way, they're all going to go the same direction. So let's fast it up a bit, speed up a bit to get them within range of the walls. Yeah, watch these guys, see what happens. So what have we got? 172. With their standard flying, officer up front in his gleaming red coat. 
Ah, oh, that one's engaging different units. 162. And this militia unit engages. These guys have got off very lucky. Right, turn my militia fire will off and turn it on again because they're not engaging. Even though they should. There we go. It's got a cost effective way to kill a lot of Hanoverians very cheaply. Because this, when I'm doing this sort of thing with the city, this is what I'm more bothered about. I'm more bothered about the exchange ratio of my lives to theirs. shot right in the guts. They'll come back though, they've only lost 40 men. So they've not lost any, because they've been soaking up all the shots. Confident, steady, wavering. You'd be wary of where my. If I get my mortars to target their cavalry, that would be ideal. Because yeah, they've 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 not killed any of my men, but they have damaged my own walls. Oh, I killed their officer. First one up the ladder, I think. Down he goes. There you go, my artillery is quite happy to just keep on hitting their cavalry. I don't know what the hell he's shooting at. Oh, that unit of infantry that's reformed. Yeah, they think, yeah, they're right now, yeah, half of them are going back down. But yeah, I have bayonets, they don't, so my melee attack is huge. You should be firing a lot sooner than that. So this is how, over time, if they do it often enough, they can really start to wear you down. Like, they don't take many casualties off, but they weaken it enough so that the next time it could be more of a tipping point. Oh god, no, you stop. They're shooting into the backs of my own guys, trying to shoot these guys on the wall. should be done fairly soon turn on yeah when in doubt in this game turn the fire will on turn the fire will off if that doesn't work uh, redeploy them like these guys should be in position to fire on this unit of militia as they route. But because the game can be weird, there you go. Shattered, they're not coming back. Good. Ooh, the bouncing, the bounce hit there. Good. I'm knacking I'm getting some good hits on their cavalry as well. Not bothered about chasing them off the walls, because why would I worry about that? It's 
So mortars, what you used to be able to do, if you right-clicked close, they'd shuffle. Nope. Hold fire. There you go. Get them up against the wall. They'll kill any of these guys they run up against. And the rest of them should open fire. Alright, speed this up. Well, I'm definitely just going to hold fire with you then if you can't be trusted to not you know, shoot the backs of your own men. Just let them slowly get minced up at the top of the steps. Yeah, so this unit was full strength, now it's 180, so it's lost 40 guys. Grant, it's decimated two units of infantry, but if they throw more infantry at it over time, if they can kill my guys faster than they can... If they can kill my units faster than I can replenish them, then... I'll start to run into a problem. Meh, nah, just kill these guys on the wall. Where's, so where's the unit that's come back then? Oh no, they haven't come back. They just need to run. Cool. Artillery fire. Sweet. And at least... Hmm. Good. Lost 110 men. They lost 800. So they retreat. Yeah, the rebels don't even have the strength to uh, challenge the ne challenge the Netherlands uh, itself. But yeah, once I get square, I'll be much more comfortable engaging the Hanoverians on land, uh, just to offset their ability to. Who is that? Is that the Bavaria? Is that Courland? Not cool, Courland. If it is. <laughs> there is unused land okay. for farming in this region. You farms have enough ships to, to, to sink farm. this army for a freebie. I'm not going to fight it because I should really, but. Good. An entire stack. Gone. Like, just like that. And get these guys in port. Port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded. Let's get back over here. Poland. Diplomacy. Protector of Poland. Press peace. How much am I doing for tax? I will come bank I will eventually become bankrupt, but I'm not gonna actually run out of money. These guys are training. Especially near wine in. Move them up, just to threaten them. Good treat gained. Good. They're spinning up quite a force. These guys might be better served swinging up north to help push pr help push this area. If I'm not going to expand them anymore, they might be better um, nearer the rest of my forces. Let's see if we can assassinate their general. Nope. But they know I'm there now. Marseille. It's not Marseille. Ah, down here. Okay, let's see if we can start to... Okay, request peace. Hmm, they really don't want to make peace. Don't want to make peace of Savoy. No, not state gift. Come on, make peace. See, I just don't get what made them, what fired them up to make that sort of call. 
I mean, I literally have no way of attacking them, but the AI still just went, no, 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 right, that's it. Screw you, France. Let's see, did Wurttemberg actually get, did they actually get involved? So they are at war with Hanover and Poland and everyone, but they're not actually helping. But how's this army doing? They are still replenishing. I can't recruit a general, but I will recruit a general and the next turn I'll move them out. Even, yeah, even though I have artillery, I can manage my infantry better than the eye can manage their infantry and cavalry. Unfortunately, made it through another turn where Britain doesn't attack me in Spain. Do something useful. Spain's just leaving me utterly up, hanging up to dry at the minute. If I can knock out Hanover relatively quickly, then I will... Oh, okay, got to get ready for a Savoy army on the march, or do I let them just attack Paris anyway? Hmm. <laughs> Come back again! <laughs> yeah, let's do it. What's the definition of insane thing and expecting different results? Say so it's free, free kills. And so eventually, this army will be in a position where I can actually leave Amsterdam, enter them on the field, and have two stacks, two good stacks running around. All right, you guys all know that drill. I don't have mortars this time, then I don't know how much of a... Ooh. I don't know how much of a deciding factor they were. I'll probably play this one just on higher speed in general. <laughs> so many broken little units. Actually, let's put a full strength unit here because that's what we like to attack. Then let's put the penny packets in these rear areas. Ooh, I forgot this unit of semi decent line infantry. You go there. Ooh, no, don't go there. Go here. Fill this gap. Yep, yeah, they've picked up a few more units of full... Ooh, mercenaries. West European infantry mercenaries. They are now just hiring mercenary troops. Chiseled away a few more cav. So now you guys are probably fed up of watching these and I'm getting more fed up of fighting them. <laughs> um, but I don't auto-resolve them because the auto-resolve will just screw me over and I'll lose significantly more men than I will fighting it myself. Come on, fire. Okay, the cavalry's rushing in. Good. Because then I can pick some of them off. <laughs> right. I don't get why the AI's done this. But good. I guess they're really hoping they would capture the gate. Or well, the AI just bugged out massively. Either way, I'll take it. Because. I will, yeah, I'll take free cavalry kills. Oh no, they're going to send up another unit of knackered militia. So 
long as my guard mode's on and I don't follow them down the ropes. God, you hear all those horses. In a way, I don't want this unit to attack. I want them to stay away. Stay away so they don't rout to keep this just absolute massacre going on for longer. So what have they lost? Half their number? I have... See, so this is this is an example of why some people hate empires. Hey, Empire is a game because they do stupid things like this for no reason. Like they've got no reason to attack. They have zero reason. I had no troops down there. They have no way to get in. Yet they decided. The AI decided that this was the smart thing to do. Maybe they honestly were just counting on capturing the gate, allowing the flag to tick over, then they just pour in. I mean, that's got to be it. Then they see them coming back. All those horses that killed for free. Then even more from these guys' special hussars, because they've run back. And more from this guy's special cav regiment. Lieb Regiment Reuter. Are guys going to run out of ammo? No, no, not for ages. God, and their infantry's coming back, so they're just going to make it last longer. From a campaign perspective, this is brilliant. But from a, you know, just from a challenge perspective, man, this is... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. And the campaign is on hard-hard, because I find that to be a good balance between um, the eye being a bit more challenging and... And then just not giving them stupid buffs. Because if there's anything... If something I find more annoying than this, it's having a, like a unit, an enemy unit of militia beat a unit of my line infantry because they've got loads of accuracy and morale to boost. So. Alright, let's just speed this up a bit again. Because I think... Yeah, this infantry unit's keeping them in it. They're just broken, they're not shattered, but then this regiment is going to come back shot to bits because what they've gone they've, they've lost half of their number all of these all of this cav gone for no reason didn't fancy anything in general in AI too smart for that eh <laughs> holy hell yep yeah, and they've broken too Jesus Christ Sorry if you're religious and you don't like me just saying Jesus Christ to that, but gee, that's the, all you can say about feelings are always the most natural. Ah, oh, you're missing a quotation mark. God, look at that. Two and a half thousand ish down to half thousand. Gone. Good job, Hanover. You really. Oh, that's my response to that. Don't don't betray me, Wurtemberg, please. I don't like how you're sat there next to me. <laughs> then, then they still fancy it. There is Still. land suitable for farming in this region. 
I'm spending all my money in Europe right now because I need to. Still don't have a garrison, so I can't just dump all my troops out and chase down this army. I'm not going to be in debt just yet. Right. Start the push back. Oh, no, oh no, that's just... That's their knackered army from the north. That's just a un this unit of line. No artillery, and I have lots of it. And they have lots of cavalry. Have I... I have got square. Excellent. Um, but at this point, um, I really need the loo. And I'm going to look at the looking at the recording on the clock. And I think I'm going to end the part here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Whew. I'll see you next time.